Sweat stung her eyes, making Claire grab a towel hung on the rack of the treadmill. Wiping away the sweat, she tossed the towel back where she stored it. As she made sure to maintain her breathing, she kept thinking about the information she learned about the modified humans. I guess if firearms no longer work, then I'll need to focus on building up my stamina. At least, I've improved bursts of my speed. Picking up the pace as the treadmill increased the speed, Claire enjoyed the rhythmic sound of her feet striking the treadmill. Soon, she was breathing faster, trying to pull in as much oxygen into her body as her muscle began to protest. When she thought she couldn't go any longer, the machine started to slow down. Huffing and puffing, Claire reached for the military canteen. She quickly undid the lid and moved the opening to her mouth. Refreshing water soon poured down her throat as she tried to regain her stamina. That was a good workout. Chelsea tossed the fresh towel towards her. Still drinking the water, she used her other hand to grab the towel in the air. Setting the canteen down, her face soon felt the soft sensation of the towel as she wiped away the pouring sweat. Make sure not to ignore cooling your body down, Chelsea advised the girl. Nodding, Claire pushed the button to begin the cooldown mode. Claire's eyes couldn't help but glance over to Chelsea. What's up? Chelsea asked when she noticed Claire looking at her. Feeling her body beginning to feel better at the slower pace, Claire pressed her lips together, unsure how to ask her questions. Nodding, Chelsea asked, You're worried about the news that firearms are no longer effective against those things, right? Feeling sheepish, Claire looked away. It's understandable, though it was never in the plans to have either you or Hannah use weapons to fight those things. Chelsea said in a comforting voice, being able to empathize with Claire. However, she made sure to drive in the point of Claire not being trained for combat. Why not? We can help. Claire whined at the woman, her cheeks reddened by how childish her complaint sounded to her ears. Chelsea merely stared at the girl. You're expecting us to just run away when everyone else is probably getting killed? Claire threw the towel away in anger. Yes, Chelsea didn't elaborate. Slamming her hand on the emergency stop button on the machine, she whirled to face Chelsea. Why? Why won't you let us fight? She screamed at the woman. The moment she shouted at Chelsea, she felt herself becoming embarrassed by the outburst regretting the wave of anger she threw at the woman. A part of her wondered whether it was a training regiment that made the blood feel hotter. Chelsea didn't flinch from the wave of anger. You know why. I can't let you fight those things. Her words were calm. Even I can't go up against those things, and I spent years being trained for this moment. Do you honestly think you'll be able to just jump in and save the day? Though she didn't want to admit it, Claire understood that Chelsea was right. It was silly to believe that she could do anything with what little preparation she did. Even those who escorted her weren't able to kill the monsters before they ran off, and they were using advanced weapons used by Star Moon. I just hate the fact that I'm useless. She felt tears begin to form out of her frustration. I know. Chelsea simply said. I couldn't even warn Han about the modified humans coming to the city. He's probably... Claire gripped the machine, her fingers turning white from the effort. There was nothing you could do. Chelsea comforted the girl. And you don't know if he was able to make it out. We've received reports that there are signs of survivors still out there when we patrol the area around the fort. That's not even including the occasional report through the wire, letting us piece together what's happening out there. Using her t-shirt to wipe away her tears, Claire tried to be comforted by Chelsea's encouragement.